What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell, make sure you don't miss any of the awesome content that we have coming out. And with this video, we are jumping into Savage Spider-Man issue number 2. And if you have not been keeping up with this series, go ahead, check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It'll get you completely caught up on everything that happened in the first issue. And to do a very quick recap, we saw a cabal named the Immaculatum. They invented a drug called A+. And what A plus does is gives the individual the ability to have enhanced performance. But with this performance comes a decrease in intelligence. And the leader of this group, a man named Wolf, he injected Spider-Man with A plus and then dropped him on a deserted island. And with Zemo also here on this island, he has quickly learned this Spider-Man has become something else. Being mixed with the A plus and his spider DNA, it created Savage Spider-Man. Be sure to buy the comic, support the industry, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so we are picking up, and Spider-Man, Savage Spider-Man, he has declared himself the alpha of this island. He is the king, he is the omega. And with his decrease in intelligence, he has one thing in mind, and that is to kill Zemo. The only thing Zemo actually has going for him is that he has his intelligence. He hasn't been injected with A+, plus or anything like that. He is just a guy on the island. And we see Savage Spider-Man and Zemo, they go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They start throwing blows. Unfortunately for Zemo, Savage Spider-Man being the alpha and everybody else on this island that has been infected with A+, he is able to have some kind of control over them. And so for Zemo, this is a fight for his life with Savage Spider-Man sending everybody after him. One by one, Zemo is taking them down. And while Spider-Man is watching all of this inside his mind, he is sitting there thinking that he is the alpha. He is the king. Kings dominate. Domination sows fear. He needs to ensure that everybody knows Zemo is not alpha. That Zemo is nothing and he will do everything he can to kill Zemo. But Zemo is stopping them one by one. No one is able to take him on. So Savage Spider-Man jumps into the fight. Jumping in to take on Zemo. Savage Spider-Man might actually have a chance if he had his intelligence. But right now it is all brute force and Zemo. Zemo is overwhelmingly winning this fight. And while this fight transpires, Zemo is letting Savage Spider-Man know that he knew this was always under the surface. He knew this Spider-Man had this ability, had this capability to be this savage. The truth of the matter, Zemo believes that he now looks how he is on the inside. And then this is where we see the arrival of Kraken's Bane. Zemo's army has arrived and now they are about to lay waste to all of these infected. With Zemo's forces opening fire, we see Spider-Man, he puts up a wall of web, sending his own army in after them. One by one, Savage Spider-Man's forces, they begin to fall. And with their deaths, Spider-Man is able to more or less see their memories from when they were human, before they A+. And so while all his companions die, he feels every single one of them. He feels their thoughts, their loved ones, the fear they have right before they became A+. The terror that they are feeling right now as they die when the only thing most of them wanted was to go home. But with Savage Spider-Man lacking all of this intellect, the only thing he can do is go more savage. To use brute force and try to bring this all to an end. Meanwhile, we have Wolf and his little terrorist organization, if you will. And what they are doing is preparing their a bomb. This is going to be their first mass experiment. They are going to test it on a city and see what happens. See if the a can really bring purity to this nation, to this world. Because that's their goal. 
believing that society as a whole needs to collapse. Be it capitalism, communism, whatever it may be, they don't like the systems that humanity has created, believing that everything needs to start over. And they're gonna do that with A+, dropping everybody's intellect, making everybody brutes. This would bring the world to pure anarchy. And so as these extremists turn the key, they make their attack on a city. Meanwhile, back on the island, we have Zemo and his forces. They are overwhelming Savage Spider-Man. With Savage Spider-Man believing that if he is able to take down Zemo, the rest of them, they might just flee. The problem is, Savage Spider-Man is vastly outnumbered. Between Kraken's Bane and Zemo, the two of them, they take down Savage Spider-Man. Simultaneously, we have the airship above Memphis with the terrorists and Wolf. And they are letting the citizens of Memphis know that they are about to partake in an experiment. That they have been dosed five minutes ago, and any moment now, the A-plus is going to take all of them over. And as the people begin to turn, Zemo is returning to his submarine with Spider-Man in hand. But this time, there is a collar around Spider-Man's neck, and Zemo is in control. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Alright, so right off the bat, the artwork is spectacular. They definitely had some great pinups, full pages, absolutely beautifully drawn, beautifully colored. 100% the artwork was the best thing about this issue. My, my biggest complaint, I'm gonna have to say that it's too short. I think in total it's like 16 or 17 pages if you take away the, the main cover, the introduction, so on and so forth. And so in terms of that, it's severely disappointing, lacking very much dialogue. We're really getting an understanding of what's going on. But at the same time, there's so much information that is left out. If you had added a couple more pages, added a little bit more dialogue, you could really get some substance to this comic and it wouldn't just be flashy and pretty. But it really was fun to watch Zemo and Savage Spider-Man going toe to toe. Because any normal day, Spider-Man's gonna win this fight. But with his decrease in intelligence and trying to use just brute force. That obviously isn't working. It's obviously not going to work on someone like Zemo with a heightened intelligence much superior than your average human being. Now, it definitely goes in his favor that Kraken's Bane and a whole little platoon of guys showed up and started laying down some lead. But I do believe that Zemo would eventually have won this fight and now he has control over the beast known as Savage Spider-Man. And it has the potential. It's really starting to build up a story all of Memphis just got the A+. So Memphis, the city of Memphis, is about to explode with people just being absolutely savage. It's going to be interesting to see how Zemo and Spider-Man are going to play into that aspect of it. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you would like to help this channel out, you can donate by hitting the super thanks button. That'll let you donate directly to the channel, and it helps us out greatly. If you can't do that, subscribing to the channel, liking this video, making a comment, hitting that notification bell, all of these things truly do help the algorithm and help us reach a bigger audience. And with that being said, until the next breakdown.